Hi guys. Eric with the Wisco guys here. Aaron's laughing at me. <laughs> What's going on today? So today's video is gonna be me, maybe Aaron, probably not. He's working right now, but Saturday, what do you do? Um, so we're gonna start tearing this apart. So my goal today is to get the front bumper, rear bumper, uh, the spoiler off, the headlights out, uh, the wheel liners out, mud flaps off. Just get everything off. I'll probably get the gas cap or gas door off and uh, tail lights and everything. Um, get the side marker lights out as well too. And I don't think I'm gonna start on the doors yet today, but just try to get all the, the, the little things off first. And then, uh, you know, just try to get try to get as far as I can today um, I don't know how much time I got to spend on it today but we'll see so but yeah going into paint so if you have been watching the videos uh, definitely check out the video we did pick a color for this well we just, we can't we, we pretty much picked a color for it um, but I got a video I'll link it up there check that out and then I'll come back to this video but we're starting and I'm excited I I mean I've had this car 10 years and just one of those things where you just gotta kind of dive into it and just go for it so I haven't really done anything body wise I have had this spoiler painted once before uh, but as you can see it kind of the rubber kind of deteriorated there so not very good um, so I gotta order one of them so I'm gonna do that as well too other than that, um, I'm just gonna start getting to it. I'll kind of show you guys what I'm doing as I'm going through. Might not show everything, so if you guys have a question, definitely uh, comment below. I'll try to answer it. So, alrighty, let's get started. I forgot to mention, I did buy uh, storage bags with little labels on them. So when we go through, we start taking all these screws and bolts and everything out. Um, I'm gonna get them all labeled and put them in a box in the back. So everything stays where it needs to go or stays with what it needs to go with. And we don't have screws laying everywhere and I'll just get them all labeled. This is for this, this is for that. So that should work out pretty well. I'm, I'm hoping. Well, here goes nothing. So we got all the lower panels disconnected, um, air dam and all that. And now I'm just trying to get the headlights out. Kind of being a bugger trying to disconnect them. Just one headlight. get the marker lamps out now and then the bumper will start to get off start part out Fucking shattered and shit. Yeah. Uh, Can you hit them once? I don't know how to look. It honestly probably worth it just to replace them. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how much they cost. I 
I got the top bolts out for the support here. I'm gonna start taking out these side bolts that are right down in here. Boop, boop, boop. So, let me do that next. <laughs> but it's fucking outdated. Is it? It's been the fridge since I got it. Extended and long ten, long ten. Holy grail, ten millimeter. Alrighty. So top bolts are out now. Um boy am I dirty already. So it's loose there. We just gotta I gotta get underneath and get those bolts, so that's what's next. Get those off. I didn't realize it was going to be this hot today. So much for old shit being easy to take apart. Oh shit. Alright. Should come off. Knows what we'll find behind here. Holy man, this is the first time I've ever had this off. What do you think though? Pretty good for rust though. Yeah. This is a rust free car. Yeah, like look at even behind here where it's just the primer. Just good. Yeah. It'd be nice to get this all cleaned up, glass cleaner and stuff. Well, I could just pressure wash it. Yeah. You know? Wow. I haven't worked on this car like this in a long time. Uh, this thing needed some love, huh? Yeah, definitely. It's due. Oh. I'm excited. So now, I mean, get the corner markers out and then that's disassembled in the front, right? Yep. Okay, and then I go on to the rear. Yep. Kind of a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. There's no lock in the park, that's for sure. What did I get myself into? said we're probably gonna have to get all this stripped down and then reprimer the whole the whole front bumper just so we have a good a good base to start with because everything on there is just flaking off on the bottom there so just get that on or get this all off and, and you can see like the old paint to the respray so we'll see we'll see what happens but we'll uh we're gonna start on the rear now and get that going so I'm gonna take the spoiler off and the rear bump, rear tail lights, bumper, and then I think I'm gonna get the mud flaps off too. So, alrighty, let's get to it. Look at the storage space since you put them seats down. Oh yeah. You need sleep back there. It was level. And uh. Hot ride power truck came in really handy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Actually, I took the seats out. Really? For it, yeah. Good seat, though. You 
send this to somebody one time? Yes. Yeah. Why didn't you send this through the mail? I didn't. I had someone bring it out. Oh, okay. This thing is junk. Oh, oh, that inner piece is so rotten. I told you, yeah, this thing got bad. Oh my god. I can see it. There, we gotta show them this. Yeah. Look how bad that is. Oh my god. Why would they do it in this? I have no idea. <laughs> is that bad or what? That's completely wrong. It wasn't like that when I uh, first took it off. Getting the taillights out now. Got the one side unbolted. That's there we go. Ho ho ho. Yeah. Silicone and shit. No, it's just Gasket. Glued itself to it. Yeah. That's the hardest part yet. Yeah. Getting that ball ball. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. that. that was the hardest part yet. Well, got all the retainers out um, for the taillights here. So, should be five per side. And then you just kind of yank it out with it. Make sure you don't drop your center section. Because these are expensive. Bulbs out. So, yeah, got that. We get these cleaned up once we put them back in, but they're you know, cracked a little bit. I mean, they're not bad. They look good enough to reuse them. So, and these are hard to come by. It sounds like so. So, quick little update here. Taillights are out. Um, interior covers are somewhat out. Uh, just kind of scattered about here. I just pulled this one back. And uh, now I can gain access in here to get the bolts that run in here. There's three of them just like the front on each side. They run right in here. Maybe you see better on this side. Right in here, right there, there, and there. So um, I'm going to work on that. And then after I get this bumper off, then um, I think I'm going to call it quits for the day. It's almost noon right now, and I'll probably clean up and everything. I should have this off within the hour and then clean up, so I should be out of here by 1.30, 2 o'clock. So um, I think we got pretty far. Not about what I wanted to do today. I wish I could get farther, but you know, life, you gotta do other things, which is fine, because I enjoy those other things too, so. Um, but I think we're making good progress so far. So let's get this bumper off. I, oh, I gotta get the side marker lights off too. So I gotta get those off as well. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, check in with you guys here shortly once this bumper is ready to come off. Alrighty, so I got one more nut and all the side bolts will be taken will be off or side nuts yeah so that's done um, it's a bunch of push uh, push pins up top I don't know if there's anything on the bottom not the luck but get those push pins out and then check out the bottom and if there's anything out down there we'll get that off as well and get this rear bumper off Alrighty. so I got all the clips up the top in here and then uh, there was some in the bottom as well too so this should come off
disconnect there. Nice way to go, GM, on that for the license plate bulb. Alrighty, now that's off. So now I'm going to take off these side markers. Um, there's two little um, like speed speed nuts on there. Um, so I'm just going to pop those off and should pull right out. I think that's it. Now, I'm just gonna leave that. I'll talk to Aaron tomorrow. We might not even pull that out. I just mask around it. We'll see. So that's it there. Got that off. I'm gonna go on to the next one, but I'm not gonna show you that. So almost there. One more piece, and then I'm and then I'm uh, I'll finish up with today. So so we got. Front bumper off, headlights out, and then uh, we got the corner markers out, corner marker lamps, and then we got the trim bezels for those out, those marker lamps, and then tail lamp out, rear bumper off, and then we got the spoiler off too. I don't know if I showed you this. How bad is that spoiler? It is bad. Like, you know, that was that's probably the number one thing I got told about this car is how bad that spoiler was. So, um, yeah. So <coughs> made uh, made good progress today. Uh, still got a lot more to go though. Probably going to be another at least day, two days of uh, disassembly, so we'll get it done. It's just going to take some time. I'm not in no rush. There's no car shows for pretty much the rest of the year because all the COVID stuff, so, or um, you know, even cruises around my area, you know, everybody's pretty freaked out, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Definitely subscribe, uh, comment below. If there's anything uh, you want to know about taking apart the items that I've done in this video, just uh, comment below. I'll try to help you out. So, um, but yeah, definitely keep watching the videos. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to document everything we're doing to it. I might not tape everything or video everything on it, but um, it will at least get you the majority of what's going on. So, um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So. All right, guys, have a good day or night or whatever you're having, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.